Hi, welcome to my video on relating the end behavior, the degree, and the value of A being a plus or minus in a polynomial equation in the graph. I have three graphs written here, and one is A, and a B, and a C, and it says, state the degree of each equation which could represent the graph above. There's one x-intercept as a line, so the degree is 1, linear. There's 1, 2, 3 x-intercepts, so the degree of the equation that could represent this graph is 3. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x-intercepts, so the degree is 5. And that's, this is a cubic, that's a quintics, and this is a linear. Is, is the degree odd or even? in each of these and the degree is odd because there's odd numbers of 1, 3, and 5. What quadrant does each start in? Each starts in quadrant 1. Notice quadrant 1 starts in quadrant 1 or when I say starts it, it extends up so really it's uh, the as x goes to infinity y goes to infinity so we say I say it starts in 1. And what quadrant do these end in? Which is quadrant 3. Right here, it goes on down, down in quadrant 3. Okay. Is the value of A in this, if it was this equation, is the value of A greater than 0 or less than 0 for each of the above? And notice, because it's going up to the right, the value of A is greater than 0. And notice that we have, they're all uh, deg odd degrees, so they all start in, if they're odd degrees, they all start in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3, and that's, notice when A is positive. Now, let's look at D, E, and F. D, E, and F are the reflections of these. So... If that's a line going up, this is a line going down. So the degree of each of these equations in number 1, the degree is still 1 because there's 1 x-intercept. Degree here is 1, 2, 3 x-intercepts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x-intercepts. And all of these are odd, odd degrees. What quadrant do each of these start in? Each of these starts in, and again, I always start on the right, it's quadrant, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, it's quadrant 4. And if they start in quadrant 4, they end in quadrant 2. Notice they end in quadrant 2. And as a result, because the reflection, if A up here is positive, because they're reflected, then the A down here is, A is less than 0. So these are, all of these have uh, each graph has an odd number of x-intercepts. The degree is odd, which is a linear, a cubic, and a quintic. And notice they're, if they're positive, they start in 1 and they end in 3. If A is negative, they start in 4 and end in 2. Okay. As a result, let's do a summary. A summary of n behaviors of odd degree polynomials. So if it's odd, then the graph is going up here and is finishing here. These are odd degrees. So it's the graph is, starts here, comes down, and finishes down here. That's when a is greater than zero. So that means if in another way to just say this is if x is going to a positive infinity, y is going to a positive infinity. That means it's going up here. And if x is going to negative infinity, which is right here, y is going to negative infinity. That's when it's positive. And if a is negative less than zero, that means reverse. So that it's going down here and up here. So that means that as x goes to positive infinity on this side, 
y goes to negative infinity. And on this side, as x goes to negative infinity, y is going to positive infinity. And you would expect that, that, notice that that's going to positive, this is going to negative, that's going to negative, that's going to positive. Notice the directions when they're odd. That's just a summary. Just a summary. Now, what about if the uh, graph or the equations are even? So let's look at these three graphs. One, two, three. State the degree of each equation which could represent the graph above. You have two x-intercepts here and here, so degree is two. That's a quadratic. Right here we have one, two, three, four x-intercepts, so that's a quartic. Right here we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's degree is even. And I didn't have a name for the name I went for. It was up to five quintics. Is the degree of each of the above odd or even? And they're all even. So let's spell even here. I'm going to put a two there then. Even. What quadrants do each of the following start in? Well, they all start in quadrant one, right here, and here, and here. But where do they all end in? They all end in quadrant two, two, two. And is the value of A in each of these? What's the value of A to represent this? So notice it's going up here, so that's positive, positive, positive. So A is greater than zero. So notice these are even. These are all even because they got an even number of intercepts. Well, they got an even number. Right now I'm saying intercepts, but they could change a little tiny bit as I move along based on what we learned with multiplicity and the power of a binomial. So, notice this is a U. They're going up. Notice this is going up. Notice this up, up. And what about you do reflection? Like this one. What about this is reflected? Notice they go down. But if this is reflected, it goes down in each end. So the degree of this one, because there's two x-intercepts, is 2. The degree of this one, is 4 x-intercepts, is 4. The degree of this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice I got 6 here. There's 1 there. There's 2 here because it's tangent and parabola. There's one here, and there's parabola here. So there's one, two here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And notice the degree of each of these is even. And notice they're starting in quadrant four, and they're ending in quadrant three. Starting quadrant four, ends in three. Quadrant four, ends in three. Quadrant four, ends in three. And notice because it's going down on the right, that means the A is less than zero. So notice the even ones form are either going up or go down depending on the end of A, or depending on the A value is plus or minus. And let's do a summary on the evens. Summary of the end behavior of even degree polynomial graphs is of this form. And so what we have, if they're evens, and we have, it's going up here, remember A is greater than zero, and it's going up here. Now, could be more intercepts in between, but that's A is, sorry, X is, um, X goes to positive infinity, Y is going to positive infinity. As X goes to negative infinity, Y goes to positive infinity. And that's greater than zero, and when you got less than zero, you, you have reverse. If that's going up, then this is going down. If that's going up, then this is going down because of the reflection. So that means that's when A is less than zero. Because so what I do, I remember what the positive is doing, and then the uh, I remember when A, for A is greater than zero, and I just re, uh, do the res, um, reflection when a is less than zero. So it's the opposite of these. So here, as x goes to positive infinity, 
y is going to negative infinity. Right here is x is going to negative infinity. Going over here, y is going to negative infinity. Again, positive, positive. This is a reflection because it's less than zero, negative, negative. Again, I'm trying to explain about what they call sometimes you see in books the end behaviors. But we've gone over this again and again and again, so hopefully things are making sense. Now, some more questions. State the correct answer if that's the equation. If y equals a outside of x minus b, x minus c. And we could have some n powers here, which I didn't discuss before, but this could be a square. This could be a cube. This could be a 1. n could be uh, 1, 2, 3, so etc. So we want to look at this equation when we have n is, is not 0, n is 1 or 2 or 3 or so on. So we want to look at this equation. We want to look at it if the degree is odd or even, or if a is greater than 0, less than 0. So let's look at this equation. So the Let's look at this graph, each of these graphs. The equation, this is an x-intercept, an x-intercept, an x-intercept. So that's three x-intercepts. So three is odd. Okay. And because this is going up to the right, a is greater than zero. And we have two x-intercepts. So we have two x-intercepts and two x-intercepts is even. And so notice this is going down on the right. So a is less than zero. And right here we have, we only have two x-intercepts, but that's a, a double there, because that's a square. And that's a tangent here, or, or parabola. Parabola here, or, or tangent, or double, a double. So that's the, that's four in terms of a power. So it's even. And it's going up to the right, so a is greater than zero. And let's look how many we have here. So we got an x intercept here, we got an x intercept here, and an x intercept here. But this is a sideways s. So there's one here because it's linear. There's one here because it's linear. Because this is a sideways s, it's three. So one, three, and one, that's five. Five is, that's an odd. So if you wrote the equation here, you would have a degree of 5. It's odd, and it's going down, so a is less than 0. So not only do you look at the intercepts, this is why I put n to be a 1, 2, 3, 4 here, because this is a cube, and this is a square. And let's look at this last one. There's an x-intercept here, so it's a linear. There's a double here, because it's a parabola is tangent. And there's a cubic here because it's a sideways s. So 3, 2, and 1. There's 6. And 6 makes even. And again, notice even. Both of them are going up. When you got even, they both go in the same direction. Both going up. Even, both going up. Even, both going down. But when it's odd, one is, they move in opposite directions. So here, a is greater than zero because it's moving up on the right. Hopefully making sense in relation to the end behaviors, how they go. So odds go different. I'll go, one end will go up, the other one will go down, or one end will go down, the other end will go up. But if you got evens, they either both go up or they both go down. So just be careful. Is the degree odd or even? And a greater than zero or less than zero for each of these equations. So notice now, we have a degree of two, a one, and a one. So that means we only have three intercepts of negative four, one, and two, but we have a power of four. So that's even because we have degree of four, and the degree of four, we have an even. And because it's negative, that means that a is less than zero. And right here I have a one, a three, and a one. 
in terms of power. So the x-intercepts are 0, negative 1, 3, but the powers or degrees are 1, 3, 1. So that's a 5. So that's an odd. And this is a positive. So that means a is greater than 0. Number 3, we have a power of 1, power of 1, power of 1. So that's a 3. So the x-intercepts are negative 2, 3, 4. But the powers are linear. So we have a 3 degree, degree of this, these expressions. If you multiply all these out, this will start with an x cubed. If you multiply all these out by FOIL and simplifying, you get a 1, you get a cube here, and a 1. That gives you a 5, etc. So that's a 3. 3 is odd. And A is positive, so A is greater than 0. That means it opens up. And so let's just get back to it. If it opens up, that means it opens it goes up in the first quadrant, and that means it'll go opposite, so it'll go down in the third quadrant. But when it's even, like this, both as negative, if one end goes down, because it's negative, both of them will go down. They'll go down in quadrant 4, down in quadrant 3. When it's even, they both go in the same directions. And we have a 2 and a 2, so that's a 4 degree so it's an even and that's negative a is less than zero so when it's even again they're going down so both of them will go down they'll go down in four and down in three and the degree of this one is a three one two one and that's three one two one add them up three four five six seven 7 is odd, and because it's negative, it's going down, so A is less than 0. So you can see this is going down in quadrant 4, so it'll be the opposite. So it'll go up in quadrant 2. And right here we have a 2, 1, 3, 1, 1. So 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is even, and because it's positive, A is greater than 0. That means they're both going up, so we're positive, up in, up in 1, and it'll go up in 2, because they both go up. Hopefully, you understand, or I'm trying to help you understand, about the end behaviors related to the degrees, related to the intercepts, and related to the A values. And if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.